I am freaking pissed. Now you might ask yourself why you are quite often. However, I was looking forward to this. I, over the weekend, I binged the 2017 starting season one of Castlevania. I finished the entire show, the entire series, the entire season, all four seasons. Just to be disappointed again. So a while back when we saw the trailer for Castlevania Nocturne, I absolutely loved it. I liked the animation style. It looked great and interesting. Now, don't get me wrong. I have never played the games. That doesn't mean that I can't get on board with a franchise like this. And I went back. I knew I had started Castlevania uh, the first season came out in 2017. I went back, I watched it, I continued watching the entire four seasons. A great show, absolutely loved it. If you are into this kind of dark and gritty uh, uh, Dracula, you know, if you're into that kind of stuff, this show is definitely for you. Go check it out. And I would, and I, and I, even after. Even after watching five episodes of this new Castlevania Nocturne, I will recommend the original series because it's absolutely... Ah, I, can't, I don't even have words for it. I absolutely loved it. I wish I would have more. That is what I was hoping for going into this new show, Castlevania Nocturne. Now... Like a day or so before the show actually dropped on Netflix, Net, uh, uh, Netflix released on YouTube the first seven or so minutes of the first episode. It starts out in Boston, 1783, and I was absolutely celebrating. It was like, oh my God, this is going to be so cool. It's right after the revolution. Oh man. This is going to be awesome. I even enjoyed the enemy in this. Of course, it was like a native or later on in the show, you find out that he's a Mayan or Aztec or whatever else. But after there's those first seven minutes that they released for everyone to see, to get people hyped for their frickin' show. It quickly, quickly turns into woke garbage. And look, I'm not a person, yes, there is a lot of woke garbage out there. There's a lot of complaining out there, and I do complain. But I don't complain lightly, and I'm upset that this show has turned into it. Now, again, I will, you know, I, I have to, make this point, I have to point out that I am indeed not a person who has played the games, so I don't know the entire lore. So yeah, you can change things up on me and, and I wouldn't even notice. And I'm sure that happened in the original series that a lot of things were changed from the games because apparently there's not that much of a story in the games, it's just you're a Belmont, you fight against vampires. And that's what you do. So, but, that being said, now, I could have probably seen the writing on the wall in the last season of Castlevania, where we got some, you know, a few scenes that were like, uh, really? Mm, I'm not entirely sure about that. But it wasn't anything that broke the series. In fact, I really enjoyed the series, as I said. And I was really looking forward to this new one. I was really hoping that we would get a continuation of the greatness of that first show. And what we got was wokeness. Now, look, again, 
I don't like pointing out wokeness. I don't like watching things that are woke to begin with. And I should have just seen the writing on the wall and just ignored it and just not watched this show. But. They released the first seven minutes of the of the show on YouTube. I watched it and I was hooked. I was hooked. But guess what? You uh, quickly after those seven minutes, you you find yourself in France. You're no longer in the new world. It could have made a great show from what from those seven minutes. It could have been awesome. But you find yourself in France. Which, you know, OK, all right, I can, you know, I can still deal with it. Like, all right, the, in the first seven minutes, you actually see that the mother is sending this boy, Victor, to France to keep him safe. Anyway. But you quickly learn, you know, that. I mean, look, I can even look past this first part, but, you know, continuing to watch the show and then looking back at the first few episodes, I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. It was from the start. <sighs> look, I I love female heroes, love beautiful women being strong, doing great things. I love that. Absolutely love that. I love seeing it. And, and, and I absolutely loved the female protagonist in the first show. But it wasn't completely centered around her. No, you had Alucard and you had Trevor. Trevor Belmont. He was a great character. I absolutely loved that character. And those three together as the main protagonists, awesome. Awesome. And they didn't give one of those heroes, you know, a knock in the, in, in the face just to prep up the girl. No. They complimented each other. It worked. I thought it was great, but here, no, actually, if you, if you actually look at it, which, which I was like, mm, I'm not entirely sure about this, but you know, it is what it is. Let's continue watching. Maybe, you know, it'll be reverse at some point, you know, maybe it will show more of a dynamic, but this his caretaker auntie or something like that, I guess, you know, this, You know, and, and she has a daughter and I guess they're kind of, you know, they've been taking care of him and he's more of a follow along, uh, a show off, but really needs to be told what to do. Now, that isn't necessarily the most horrible thing to start out with, like whatever. I also kind of got the vibes that the girl had a crush on Victor and that the auntie, you know, he, she probably and, and he, you know, kind of got the feeling that he would also go for the auntie. But I don't, you know, that that's beside the point. But you know, it's it's all right. It's all right. I can put up with that. I can put up with that. But then pretty soon you have two that also came from you know an island. In the West Indies, possibly, probably somewhere around there, um, that first fought in a slave uprising. And the, the, it turns the entire show into that. It's slave uprising, bad white man. Um, and just, you know, and, and again, I, I have to point out. I have not played the game, so I don't know if this is not part of the game, you know, but I've asked around people who actually have played the games, people who have enjoyed the games, people who are looking forward to this and want Victor to be the badass that he was in the games. Well, it turns out, <clears throat> funny enough, that, you know, and again, I only watched it up to... You know, I, I watched episode five of this show and I dropped it. I'm done with it. 
I absolutely, I got sick and tired of it. It turns, it, it, it's not about the main character or characters. It's about this one slave who freed herself, you know, and it's all about that. It's all about that. There is, it's not about anything else. Anyway, they go. What really broke it for me is that they went as a group to find out information because the, uh, I'm, yes, I'm going to spoil a little bit of it. The, uh, Abby seems to be, uh, working with the vampires anyway, and they go there and, uh, you know, the women, they're pretty badass, but the, the two white women that take care of Victor, you know, they, they struggle pretty hard. And, uh, except for the freed slave, she didn't struggle because she's all powerful. She's great. The show is all about her at this point. And anyway, uh, Victor sees the, the vampire from those first seven minutes that killed his mother and runs off scared is a little bitch and they really portray it as him yeah he's just a little bitch and it you know it doesn't get away from there it's just yep he's a little bitch uh moving on anyway you know so they all have to flee because he starts running away so everyone else has to flee which means uh Whoever that character, I can't remember her freaking name. I don't even care to remember her freaking name. You know, they're back at the house and like, yeah, well, he ran off like a little bitch. So, you know what? I guess we can't count on him. Why in the hell are we waiting for that little bitch? Let's go ahead and do something because that little bitch is just going to run away scared. And, you know, it's like, yeah, I get it. I get it. She is the greatest thing on earth for mankind. She is the hero of the show. Cucking, in essential. The main character, Victor Belmont. It's like, isn't this a, like, okay, the, the little bit that I understand of the lore the Belmonts are the main characters. They are the good guys. Why are you cucking Victor Belmont? And from people that I've heard who love the games say that Victor is a freaking badass and that what they've done to him, at least so far in the show, is absolutely appalling and doesn't fit to the lore at all. It it just doesn't work. And look, I don't even have to know the lore to know that they've turned him into a little bitch. Look, there's nothing wrong with having a little bitch on in a show. That's fine. But don't make the main character a little bitch. It's like, what, 20 now? Maybe a little younger, yeah, probably 20, around 20. It's from what I gathered, is that, you know, like, okay. Okay. By now, he shouldn't be a little bitch anymore. Should have worked towards that. He's a freaking Belmont. Anyway, look, I, I've been ranting here for over 10 minutes. This really upset me. And. And if you're a fan of Castlevania, the first show, or the games, or anything, I think this show will, will upset you as well. And even if you're not a fan of the games, and you, and you think that, you know, the, the style of anime looks cool, that the idea looks freaking cool, because it's, it's about night creatures, it's about vampires, it's, you know... It's about all those things. And yes, we are moving into the October season where we're going to be getting more monster lore and everything. And it would fit so perfectly. This would have started it all off. For the October madness of monsters, vampires, myths. 
but you have to turn the main character into a little bitch. Right. Anyway, from what I've gathered, this show, among many others that recently were announced and releasing on Netflix, were all made during the COVID era. And while I was looking forward to seeing a few of those shows, I've lost all interest because this was so horrible because they had to do with this what they've been doing to shows and movies for the past many years by now. I'm so sick and tired of it. I really thought that, you know what, Castlevania, they really did a good job on the first show there. They know that the audience loves it. It's great. And what did they do? Mm, right. Right, right, right. Anyway. Anyway. I am going to leave you with that. And. Until next time. I hope you liked this video. If you did, comment down below what you think. Did you watch this show? Did you watch the first Castlevania? We can talk about that. That was fun. Did you actually go and try to check out this one? Ugh, are you on the same page as I am? Or. Is my recommendation already enough to not want to watch it? Anyway, let me know. I hope you liked this video. Smash that like button. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications. All right, until next time, take care.